This right here is the next generation of 3D model assets to AI generated mock-up images. You can now use Photoshop's newest feature, which allows you to import 3D models into Photoshop. You can apply the materials, textures, and the coolest thing about this is that you can now completely change the angle and perspective of the product and generate a whole new background and scene just from that angle. In order to be able to do this, you will need to go down to your Creative Cloud, open this up, go to all apps, go to beta apps, and then install Photoshop beta and Substance 3D Viewer beta. You can also get yourself a 3D asset or model by going over to the 3D and AR tab. In here, you can browse through the Substance 3D assets. And once this is loaded, you just want to set it to all assets. You can filter this out to models only. And if you're only looking for free ones to mess around with, you can set it to free assets. You can browse through and see which one that you want to work with. The one that I downloaded was this one right here, the paper bag. The great thing about this is that you can also edit the FBX file with Blender. So that's what I did. And I deleted the other two bags. Once you've got it downloaded, go ahead and open up Photoshop beta. You want to get yourself a fresh new project and we're going to set this to 4K and then go ahead and click on create. We're also going to apply a background for the time being if we only want the background to be simple. And then you want to drag and drop your model into here. We're just going to upscale this, left click to apply and now you can either double left click on this icon right here, or you can right click and you will see a edit contents. If you click this, this will open up the Substance 3D Viewer. At the moment, we're happy with the position, but we do want to change the appearance. So we can swap on over to the appearance tab right here. We can go ahead and select the paper bag itself. We're going to go to materials and preset. And the one that I applied was the paper cardboard. Just simply drag and drop it into here. At first, it may look a little bit odd. You have these weird looking lines, but if you change the actual settings of the properties, such as the repeat, we can change this one to five and same for the Y as well. And there we go. We now have this paper effect. We still have a few little lines but that's completely fine. We're also going to select the handles. And for this one, I applied a paper soft. I also changed the base color to a dark gray. We can then close this down. And if you wanted to only change the actual model itself and you wanted to work with this right here, what you can do is you can enable the ray tracing, which will give it a lot more detail and it will give it better reflections. And we can also change the environment and you can enable the ground plane and also the denoise. Depending on the angle of your product and your light, you can change the rotation and you can change the brightness in here. If you wanted to have a studio lighting or outdoor, or this one, you can change it in here. We can also change the rotation. So this will affect where it's going to be. You can see the shadow is starting to change. Let's say that we want it on that side and we want the light to be here. This gives you this nice soft look to it. You can also enable reflection if you want the floor to be reflective. You can change the opacity in here. If you want a shiny floor, but for us, we're not going to do any of this because we want to generate a whole new background just by simply typing in a prompt. So to do this, all we need to do is reset this one back to zero and we're going to go into the 3D view. Once you're in here, we're just going to zoom out a little bit. You want to get yourself the correct angle that you're looking for the overall image to be. So I want it to look like this. And then once you're happy with it, we're going to go down to the generate at the bottom. 
you want to go to the 3D model to image. And in here, you want to simply type in your desired background. For me, I want it to be a coffee shop in Italy with a smooth oiled wooden table. You want to make sure you've set it to the first one. Color match to 100, otherwise it's going to change the color of the actual product. You can change the aspect ratio and you can also apply any themes or styles if you want to in here. I'm not going to, so I'm just going to click on generate. And there we go. That's not looking too bad. This one is decent. We have this one right here, which has a nice little light flare in the background. I do actually like the look of this one. We even have one with a little coffee on the side. And this one's also decent as well. It's a little bit rough on the edges, but this is normal. Keep in mind, this is in the beta version. But for the most part, it actually looks really good. I'm really happy with this one. When it comes to the export settings, you have three at the top. You can either save it as a snapshot. You can save it with the background or without the background. If you only want to save the actual paper bag, you enable this and then save it. You can also export it, which will give you more options, such as the resolution, quality, format, and so much more. Or you can just easily send it to Photoshop. And if you click this one, this will automatically send it to Photoshop. And if we have a look at this now, it should apply it onto here. At the moment, I've noticed there's a little bug where it doesn't actually apply the changes. And if yours doesn't, then what you can do is you can just save as a snapshot. Give this any name that you want. So let's just call it paper bag and then coffee shop. Click on save. We can just drag and drop into Photoshop. If your image has certain areas like here where it looks a little bit rough, you can use the remove tool and just correct it in here. And there we go. Same for this spot right here. The next step from here is to apply the branding or the logo onto the product. And the best way and the way that I like to do it is to use a shape tool, drag yourself a box that is roughly the same size as your product. You can have it set to any color that you want, but you just want to right click and then convert it to a smart object. Once you've done that, we can press five on our keyboard to lower it to 50%. We're going to press control or command and T and you want to right click, and go to warp. In here, this will allow you to warp it onto the product. We're just going to quickly drag the corners in, make sure this fits. If you need additional lines, you can hold control, apply it onto here, and then this will allow you to also drag it along and make the changes in here. Go ahead and press enter. We're going to set it back to 100%. Double left click on here. And now if we hide this, we can apply the branding. I'm going to press enter, close this down, press yes once you're happy with the changes. And then we're also going to double left click on here and just change the underlaying layer. This will allow us to just blend it a little bit more with the product. And there we have it. There is our product mock-up right here. If you want to continue applying changes or you want to, let's say, reposition the logo, you can just move it up, press yes for the save, and there we go. This will apply the changes. And finally, the finishing touches, if you wanted to do this, you can also get yourself the selection tool, drag this down, and you can get yourself additional items around the product, such as, let's say, a black protein shaker. There we go. That's looking really good. This one looks decent. I'm happy with this one, but the most realistic one I would definitely say is this one. We can add in some ingredients such as a avocado or banana right next to it. So let's add in a avocado. So 
definitely going to stick with this one. I like this one, or even this one looks good. And let's say if we wanted to, we can also add in a banana as well. All of the healthy options. And that is one big banana. <laughs> this one's okay. You may also like this next video up on the screen. But until next time, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.